Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about problem solving strategies. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about problem solving strategies. So, how do we solve a problem? There are three main ways or strategies that psychologists have studied a lot. The first way is insight. Ever just looked at a problem and kind of known the answer? That's called insight. And if you can just look at something and know the answer, that is usually the first strategy that people will use. After all, it's fast, it's super easy, but insight comes with a huge drawback. What if your idea doesn't work? This happens a lot in practical problems. For instance, if you've ever moved and thought you could fit a certain piece of furniture somewhere, you looked at that couch and thought you knew the answer, but then you get to your new apartment and there is no way that couch is going up the stairs. A lot of the time we use insight when examining our own internal problems. For instance, when we think, why am I feeling sad today? And we suddenly have an instant answer, an insight. Obviously, I'm feeling sad due to gummy bear deficiency, which should be addressed immediately. <laughs> in psychotherapy, when people have these insights into their own feelings, therapists call them epiphanies. Another way we can solve problems is trial and error. Basically, we try something until it works. We do this a lot in video games. We'll just run around until we find the next key or med pack. Trial and error problem solving is also fairly easy, and it usually does get the problem solved eventually. But trial and error problem solving has also been demonstrated to be much harder in groups. Also, since trial and error problem solving is solution oriented, you might not always wind up with the best solution, or you might not even know why your solution works. If you follow step-by-step -step instructions, you're using the third method of problem solving, an algorithm. You might do this when you're cooking a recipe or putting together furniture. Usually we use this problem solving method when we want to be sure things turn out well. So things that we're heavily invested in. That's because using an algorithm is the best out of all three of these ways to get consistency. But it also takes a long time. That's why when you're trying to put together that table from Ikea, it can be really tempting to use insight and just know how it goes together or use trial and error and just start putting pieces together. But don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> if you want to know more about how psychology can help solve the problems in your life, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Okay, I, I have no idea how this is supposed to be a table. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna start slapping together pieces.